G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, sad day afternoon here in Australia, sort of sad day evening. And we can see that Bitcoin, it's still in that, you know, it's in a very tight range at the moment. It won't break above 13,800, but the lows continue to get higher. So it is ever so slowly, slowly creeping up. Now, I was somewhat suspicious that we might see a breakdown over the weekend. And look, it still could happen uh, come, you know, maybe tomorrow or something before Monday. I'm just not 100% sure whether that is what's going to happen. Um, but the markets are definitely looking interesting. Now, BTC dominance, it continues to creep up. I think we're definitely going to see 65% sometime next week. And I am suspecting that after the election that is happening over in the States, we're going to break 14,000 next week. I, I, I'm almost 100% confident that we're going to break it and we're going to make a quick surge uh, upwards in the uh, next week. Now, if it doesn't happen next week, I think it's definitely going to happen uh, early the following week. But I do think it's this week coming up. I think we'll break that 13,000. It won't matter who gets elected. Joe Biden's going to approve stimulus if he gets in. We all know Donald Trump is going to approve, approve stimulus if he gets in. They just can't afford not to. Now, there is a, you know, some of the pandemic seems to be uh, getting a little bit worse uh, overseas in places in Europe and things like that. So there is cause for a little bit of concern. But look, in the end, I don't think anything is really going to uh, yeah, change the course that uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is on, is on at the moment. But look, that's not to say it's completely out of the realms that something truly kind of, you know, catastrophic happens in the financial sector uh, and then it goes down. That's definitely possible. But my personal opinion uh, and not financial advice is Bitcoin is your best bet at the moment. Out of any of the cryptocurrencies, I think that's you know kind of the safest play. It's not to say that there's no uh, money that can be made elsewhere, but just Bitcoin is the safest one. Now we can go over here and have a look. There has been some moves. Blockstack, all right, awesome, thank God. Uh, they've got some profits uh, and 15% in the last day. But again, you got to look. Uh, it's really you know, it's been traveling down for a while, so really it's just making up some of the gains that it's lost. Loop ring, not having a good week at all, so down 20%. Uh, ample forth, and even though it's up, you know, 13% in the last 24 hours, it's still down that much. So, yeah, there's a, a lot of things that are still on the downward slide. Most altcoins are still on their way down. It's not to say that they're not making any little bumps. Again, you know, you can look at Yearn Finance. It's been really getting hammered for quite some time. Now, it's had 10% uh, in the last 24 hours, but it's on t that 10%, it's still down 25% over the seven days. And that's what's happening with most things. Although, although Nexo seems to be doing all right, Ocean Protocol doing all right. But again, this is a lot of sort of choppy stuff. Nothing too major. Let's have a look at the losers, though. What are the losers like? So not too much over the last 24 hours. You know, single digit stuff, Filecoin, you know, maybe it's sort of found its bottom. But again, this looked more like it's pumped up and now it's slowly starting to retrace again. So yeah, be careful with Filecoin. Uh, it hasn't been doing well. Crypto.com, you know, this had so much hype behind it. It was, you know, everyone was talking about it. Everyone wanted to get in and everyone wanted to do the staking. And now we can just see it's getting absolutely hammered. It's down another, you know, nearly 17% in the last seven days. And now, again, it has uh, spikes where it goes up and then it just goes down a little bit. So it's like a set of stairs that are going down, you know, down, down, down. And who knows just how low it's going to go. Uh, look, that project may be sort of dead in the water. I'm not saying it is. Uh, I don't mind crypto.com. I think they've done some really good stuff, but they just seem to be having lots of issues at the moment and people are, are selling and panic selling uh, and obviously putting their money into Bitcoin and things like that. But really, overall, the losses in the last 24 hours, they're only single-digit losses, so that's not really that bad. So again, uh, you know, if you can't handle losses, you're not going to be able to handle uh, the gains either. All markets, uh, you know, fluctuate up and down, and particularly lately, there's a lot of mess going on around the world, uh, and things are getting a little bit tough uh, in all markets. Really, I think uh, cryptocurrencies might be the only market that's generally sort of gone up. I think most of the others are going down. Uh, I haven't even checked what the Dixie's doing at the moment. Maybe that'll be uh, my video for tomorrow. But 402 billion, not too bad. At least we're still hanging around there. Uh, 
and again, this BTC dominance. Uh, gas prices are coming down again, so you know, great news. I, I do think these are going to continue to come down. Uh, and let's have a look at some prices of some uh, coins that I've been keeping an eye on. So obviously we can start with Bitcoin. Now we can have a look at this. And really the lows just keep getting higher. This is still pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. Uh, and getting ever so close to sort of, you know, trying to break this. Now, we need to consider that this may simply roll over and come back down and test this, you know, 12,500, or look, even come down and sort of test 12,000. Anything's possible. Uh, I just think it's unlikely. Again, I think there's too many people buying it, and it's just slowly but surely uh, being bought up and just to slowly push the price up. You know, no one's making any massive moves. Like, you know, let's say we find out Apple or Microsoft or someone's got into Bitcoin. They haven't come in and gone, rightio, we've got... 460 million dollars you know that we want to put into bitcoin they don't just go bang and buy one you know big almighty uh you know bucket load of it that will push the price up ridiculously they're just following the micro strategy uh technique and i, I personally believe there's going to be a ton of places out there doing it so for me uh at the moment personal opinion not financial advice bitcoin bitcoin <laughs> That's maybe not a bad term for it sometimes, uh, depending on who you are. Bitcoin is your kind of best, safest bet. I think this is going to continue to go up. I don't think it's going to come down anytime soon. I don't see any major retracements until we hit maybe 25, 35,000. Once we get to there, some people will probably start to try and uh, play with the market a little bit. I think most people, uh, whales and people who would normally try and, you know, work the market a little bit i don't want to use the word manipulate but you know work manipulate the market you decide which one you think is best they know that they're not going to be able to short this market enough uh to buy back cheaper because it's just going to get bought up i think they all know that it's easier to just hold on and buy themselves a little bit every now and then because that's what helps push the price up Again, MicroStrategy, they bought in and around about sort of $10,000. Michael Saylor himself, sorry, 10000 around here. He bought in for around about 9800 So look how much uh, he's in profit. Grayscale's in profit. You know, or Chamath Palapataya. Uh, you know, he bought back in, I think it was 2010. So he bought them at $80. Uh, and he bought a million of them, allegedly. So that's what I mean. They're well in profit. They... You know, they don't have to worry about the volatility uh, of it coming back down anytime soon. Uh, and again, they're not going to try and manipulate the market to get it to come down at the moment because I think they know this market is starting to heat up. And, you know, unless they pumped in a whole lot of Bitcoin to try and dump the price, there'd be no guarantee that they could buy back cheaper. So that's something that they'd have to worry about. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh perfect timing for that so yeah i don't see any major dips now ethereum this is this is really really interesting so as i said i i'm concerned that this uh trend line is going to break and we can have a look at it right here we're sitting right on the precipice of it so this you know in the next 24 hours it's like either going to rebound and start to push back up and maybe just travel along this line or we're going to break uh, and start to see some more downside. It's really hard to know at the moment. I'm, you know, I'm confused. This 400, it's just, it's some serious resistance at the moment. Now, look, at some stage, it is going to be broken. There's no doubt about that. But it's just, is it going to be done now and anytime soon? There's too much exuberance in Bitcoin at the moment. I think, uh, look. We might not even break down so much. We just might sort of travel sideways, uh, but break outside of this trend line. But in the next 24 hours, we're going to know, are we going to continue this kind of upward trend? And look, we could. It could just slowly tick on over here, but I think we're going to break through and maybe sort of come down to around the $300, $330 level uh, and then just do some uh, sideways traveling for a while. But look, it could get worse and we may sort of come down to here 230 uh anything's possible and um, you know we're just not going to know i can't tell you exactly what's going to happen you know the, the volume you know it's not really telling me a whole lot of story it's a bit choppy it's there and then it's not there and yeah we'll have to wait and see i think bitcoin is where people are putting most of their money uh 
excuse me, I think even people who bought Ethereum and are still up at the moment, uh, they're getting into Bitcoin. All right, last but not least, synthetics. So it has broken that key support that I was looking at. I was thinking maybe sort of $3.20-ish was going to hold. It has not held. But it is still within this range right here. So I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen. There's going to be a breakout at some stage. Is it going to break to the upside or is it going to break to the downside? I think the longer we stay in this kind of pennant here and the closer it gets to here, the bigger the move is going to be. Now, I just don't know whether it's going to be up or down though. Uh, you know, I think most people are going to go to Bitcoin, so I am somewhat concerned that this is going to break. I think we might be going lower than $2.60 and we may find ourselves back down to $1.30. Either way, I'm waiting for the breakout, whether it's to the upside or to the downside. Uh, at, at the moment, you know, uh, it's looking more like it's going to be to the downside, but at some stage that's all going to turn around uh, and then things are going to start to make their way back up. And the things that did really well uh, will likely do really well again, but, you know, there's no guarantees. You know, NFTs are pretty big at the moment and people are kind of, you know, getting into them, so that may be the thing that's in the next cycle. But look, people who come across to this industry, they're going to hear uh, decentralized finance and think money, that's where they're probably going to put their money. I don't think DeFi is dead whatsoever. I think uh, this is just a good, healthy correction. Again, I got about an 800% uh, profit from synthetics when I got in. It was, again, it was around about sort of 84 cents I think I bought and it got way up to nearly $8. It's 800% now. It's nowhere near 800% now. I'm not even sure what it is off the top of my head. I think it's somewhere down around sort of 300%, maybe even 200%. Uh, I'd, I'd have to have a look exactly what it is. I think it's still around 300 and something. But I see this continuing to come down. And I am waiting to see if this is going to be a support level or if we're just going to break through uh, and basically it's resistance. And then I'm going to be looking for, you know, will we get down to this $1.30 mark? Now, there's no guarantees. This may kind of break down and get down to sort of $2.10 and then find uh, its bottom and, you know, start to pump up. So we're just waiting to see the trend be broken, whether it is to the upside or the downside. Still massively bullish on uh, Synthetics Network. And I am planning to buy some more. I'm just waiting for uh, the trend to change. All right, Saturday evening here. I've got to get to work. Uh, <laughs> lucky me. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. If you're on Bitcoin, you should be on a little bit of a Bitcoin gain. But, you know, it's a bit of uh, sideways movement for a while now. All right, I'm out.